Hi, welcome back to my channel. Let's take a look at the EHR healthcare case study today. The goal of this case study is to leverage a scalable and resilient platform that can span multiple environments seamlessly, provide a consistent and stable user experience, and also position for the future growth. Let's design this platform with a GCP native services to fulfill this goal. Again, I will use Lucid chart to draw the solution architecture diagram. You can check the original multiple games video to learn how to use Lucid chart to draw the architecture diagrams. Are you ready? Pause the video if you need more time to read the case study. EHR Healthcare provides access solutions to the multinational medical office, hospitals, and insurance providers. I will leverage the reference architectures from Google Cloud Platform Healthcare Solutions Playbook, which is released by the National Institutes of Health. It provides five reference architectures. Take time to go through them. In each reference architecture, with the suggest GCP products and services for the solution and the high-level setup steps. It should cover the majority of questions on the healthcare solutions with the GCP. The machine learning and analytics reference will give you a good start point. Now let's take a look at the architecture diagram I drew for this case study. From the left, deploy the container-based customer-facing applications on Google Kubernetes Engine GKE with the HTTPS load balancer in the front for global customers to access. GKE includes native integration with the cloud monitoring and the cloud logging. It was called a stack drive before in the diagram. Cloud monitoring, monitoring will provide a monitoring dashboard specially tailored for the Kubernetes and with custom metrics to scan up and down the environment. Cloud logging is a fully managed service to provide logging data from the native service in this solution architecture. The backend data store has the relational database for MS SQL and MS SQL servers, NoSQL database for MongoDB, cloud memory store for Redis, and a data lake with the cloud storage for either raw data and the process data to support any future growth. You can take a look at my last minute sheet video of the relational database service decision tree to decide among host DB on a VM using the GCE, Cloud Spanner, and Cloud SQL. Note that the new memory limitation is 64 terabytes instead of 30 terabytes in the G sheet. Same on the NoSQL database decision tree. Note there is also you can use a commercial cloud solution from a MongoDB called MongoDB Atlas. The analytics reference in the healthcare solution is very similar to the mobile gaming analytics platform reference architecture that I leveraged in the Mount Kirk Games case study. So I won't waste time here to go in through the details. You can read the details in the healthcare playbook or go through the Mount Kirk Games video. The ETL data flow is that ingest a stream with the cloud PubSub to the cloud data flow for the data processing, then to the data warehouse big query for the analytics. Then you can integrate the big query with the data lab or the AI platform as needed to training any ML models for the predictions. Please check my video last minute sheet of Google Cloud Machine Learning on BigQuery ML, AutoML, and Google pre-trained models. Also, you can use BigQuery Data or Data Store with Google Data Studio or Partner BI tools for visual analytics and dashboarding.
The insurance providers can access the legacy files and API-based integration in the on-prem data center. The dedicated interconnect will be set up between on-prem and GCP. You can check the details of network interconnectors in the GCP network decision tree video. This legacy can eventually refactor to the container-based app like the other apps in the GCP and deploy them on the GKE for the scalability and resilience. The other four areas in this case studies are you can using the Google Cloud Directory Sync, GCDS for the Microsoft Active Directory. Uh, you will set up a cloud resource hierarchy in a cloud IAM that I mentioned in the, in the Mount Kirk Games case study. Please check the resource structure in that video and review the GCP security cheat sheet part 1 IAM and the billing to understand IAM principles and the best practice. GCP support HIPAA compliance that is mentioned in the playbook and you can go to the link on creating a HIPAA-aligned project in the GCP. The last area will be on the CICD that I mentioned in the Mount Kirk Games. Please review that video on the Google Kubernetes engine with Jenkins. Thanks for watching and as always subscribe to my channel for more great cloud computing learning tips. See you next time.